Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to generate a secured token with PHP. A secured token that you can use as bank token that you can send to clients. A secured token that you can use as password and things like that. So, and I'm going to test it out what you are going to do i'm just going to reload the page now all right so this is the full token that was generated and i i use the function to to extract 10 random characters from the generated token so i got 10 exactly 10 characters here so and here it's telling me if it is if the if the token is secured to be used as password to use as password bank token and and things like that so and if you if you see there is one one here so we generated it got one and f a lot of f here c c and things like that so and this is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial Okay, guys. So I've done some. Uh, I've done a little setup here. So we just ordinary HTML and CSS. Don't worry. The lesson files of this tutorial is going to be available in the description of this tutorial. All right. So let's go to the code. All right. Just two files that are in this lesson file, lesson folder. The index just dot php and style dot php all right so how to how do we generate how do we generate a secure token in php all right i'm just going to write a php yeah i'll open a php tab here i'll open a php tab here then there's a PHP function to generate a secured to generate a secured token in PHP. All right, let's go to PHP PHP website to so documentation in PHP website. It is called OpenSSL Random Pseudo Byte. So this function generates this function generates a strings of pseudo random bytes. With the number of bytes determined by the length parameter, it also in indicates if a cryptographically strong algorithm was used to produce a blah blah blah. So we are going to be checking if the returned string or the generated string is strong enough to be used as password or to be used um, to be used as um, token. To use as token to use as bank token or things like that okay all right so let's go so i'm just gonna store it here generated i'm going to call it generated token also Right, let's go back and check the name again. Okay, open SSL. Open SSL. Random pseudo bytes. All right. So, first par the first parameter that we're going to pass in is the length that we want. Let's say we want we want fifteen characters. You want 15 characters all right so i'm just going to go on and print it here so the output of the token i'm going to put it here print it here generated generated token all right let's go to the front end and check it out all right see this is the generated token that was returned this generated token that was done but is this actually a, a token that we see that we do see or the kind of token that our banks 
sent, sent do send to us no right so we need to pass in because this is binary this is binary and we need to convert it to a readable a human readable strings which is in base 64 so i'm just going to converted token so php i'm going to con convert it to base 64 with the php bin to x oh sorry not base 64 not, not base 64 exa decimal numbers i'm going to convert it to exa decimal numbers not base 64 sorry for that limited token all right so I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. Okay, so now let's load. All right, so this is string that was returned, that was generated. This is the token that was generated. All right, so let's check if it is secured or not. Let's check if it is secured or not. How do we check if it is secured? We are going to pass. Because open SSL, let's go back to the documentation. Open SSL, there's a second parameter here that we can pass to it. A second parameter here that we can pass to it, which is strong results. If passed into the function, this will hold a boolean boolean value that determines if the algorithm used was cryptographically strong. So save for you save usage with CPG password and and the rest so i'm just going to check like see if, if it is safe so i'm just going to pass it in and we we'll check we we'll write it here Right, so let's go check in the front end and see what the kind of thing that we're going to get all right we got one we got one all right so let's go check but is this really what we what we wanted to return we want to return true or false but in php one is two and zero is false all right let's go check it out we can check it we can see its output we can make it output a boolean of two or four by passing in into php var dump save all right so this it says see how to then link to the to the file then boolean two you can see it is two that is it is safe to be used it is the uh, it was the ra this random string was generated with a crypto cryptographically is strong and it was it was created with a cryptographically strong algorithm All right so we can just let me delete that and copy it. I can create a variable here is safe. Then to output it normally, I can say safe equal to one. Just output two. Else output false. So I'm going to write it safe here. Safe. All right, two. And if I reload, you 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 can see that the the strings are changing. The strings are changing. The string are, the strings are changing. And what if you only want like you you only need to you only want five characters. What if you you only need exactly five characters to be generated and to be sent to the 
to the client or to the user now let's check if okay so i'm just going to enter like we want to see if it can output only five characters okay no okay this is not exactly five characters this is one two four five six seven eight nine ten it was times two of the characters that we want okay now let's check now we can create a function that will return only that will make it return that will return only five characters for us that will return only five characters for us okay so we can create the function it's just going to be an, an anonymous function like uh, um, what are we going to call it get string get random random strings so it's going to return So the function is going to return a random characters from us to us from the return string from the return token so it's going to take in this argument like the string that we want to get i want to get characters from and the length that we want Right, so that's just going to be like let's create a, uh, a variable here like mm, random string then i'm going to create a for loop that's not this down the length the length of the string that we want then the random string are going to be concatenating the string the random string that was returned that is going to be returned here i'm going to be concatenating it to this string here so we are going to get random characters and starting from zero index to to the length minus one starting from the length of the characters the reason why i'm putting minus one here is because it is it is zero index if we are not going to use minus one then it's going to be from one it's better we put minus one okay so i'm going to return a long string here i'm just going to call it here so we want we only want five characters we only want five characters then the length of the characters that we want is five so then we can load the page All right so I, I can see it is only one two three four five okay so this is super safe because after after the 
token has been generated after the token has been generated let's say it is uh, we generated like um 30 characters then we will get we are going to get another another random five strings from the token which will make it totally unpredictable totally unpredictable to be on to be totally un unpredictable so if we reload it again you can see it is changing 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 if you want let's say we want 10 10 characters can I can see just ten characters that was written, and it is always, it is still secured. The return characters is secured to be used with password, bank, bank token, and all the stops. All right. So, if you like this video, give it a thumb up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you don't like it, just give it a thumb down and let me know the reason why you don't like it. All right. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.